With so many wigs on the market today, how are you supposed to decide which one is right for you? By watching wig reviews, of course. Hi, I'm Angela, and I am someone with silver gray hair. So on my channel, I review only silver gray and white wigs. Other times I'll talk about products that I recommend for thinning hair or even hair loss. So consider subscribing if you haven't already. So as you can see, Alva by Noriko is a bob. She is a somewhat layered bob. Kind of blunt cut on the ends, but still, you know, when they take the scissors and they go up uh, to give it a little bit of that edge, uh, she does have that on the edge, which gives her a more, in my opinion, a more modern feel. Um, she does have that nice side side swept bangs, but at the same time, um, you do get the effect of a, of a good bang there. Nice, wispy, wispy bangs. So she is chin length on me, and I don't have a long neck. <laughs> Matter of fact, as I'm getting older, the neck's starting to go. Um, but uh, yeah, she she's about chin length. Um, just above, there's my collarbone. So if that helps you imagine on yourself. And she does not feel heavy at all. The fibers, it's, you know, it's hard to describe texture. Um, it doesn't feel bad, but it doesn't really feel silky to the touch. Again, it's not, a, that's not really a bad thing, but, um, it's just something that's, that's different. So I'll do a slow spin for you. And then I'll bend down so that you can see the top, the crown. So do I love her? Honestly, I wouldn't say I love her. Would I send her back? I'm not sure. I have other wigs I like better, and the reason is I like their color better. I do like the cut of this wig. Actually, I love the cut of this wig, and it's been reviewed by many, many wig reviewers. It's very popular. Um, you may not even be able to find the color that, that you love. So please don't think I'm saying not to buy it. I'm just saying... If you love a lot of white in your wigs uh, and, and that attracts you to Silverstone, you might be somewhat disappointed with this. But So you could see, I mean, she really is very well done, I think, especially if you're already silver yourself. Now, I have her pulled back on my head because I have a short forehead. So if you notice here, you could see you're seeing a lot of my hairline there, right? But uh, normally I would have her pulled down, but then she wouldn't present properly because her bangs would be strange. But you could see that these bangs kind of curve inward, which is a very lovely effect. And if they bother you, uh, you could just pull them back like I'm doing here now. And later on, I'm gonna get into the cap construction. And I'm also going to show you some pictures of Alva I'm going to show her to you um, outside. Let's talk for a minute about the color of Alva. In your monitor, I wonder what you see. Do you see a cool color? Do you see a warm color? In my monitor and in my mirror, standing in front of a big bay window, I would say she's on the cool side. She doesn't feel warm, but having said that, she could go either way. And why? Well, that's because she's got a lot of white framing the face, which of course softens, softens the look. But what makes up the color? She has silver in her and she has brown in her. And you probably can see that. It's like a medium brown, but the color Silverstone is what Alva is. 
So Silverstone can be different across brands, but this particular one, she has a medium brown blend that transitions to silver and then a medium brown blend and then the silver white bangs, as you can see there. Now this bang, this one thing, this one piece right here is bugging me. <laughs> and I've noticed other reviewers too, and it was kind of hanging in their face. And so you're going to have to train this wig, I think, a little bit. She does have some permatease on the top, not a lot. So if you don't like poofy wigs, you'll be fine with this. I will be fine with this. But you do need some volume up there. But this here, you'd probably have to sit, hit with some wig spray just so it doesn't fall in your face. She has the crown area and the top is, is closed, machine done, and underneath there would be permatees. She's open wefted. She has bra-like type adjusters. She does not stretch at all, so measure carefully. She has covered uh, ear tabs with the bendable piece of metal in there, to, so she'll lie nice and flat. Now, Noriko's Alva does not have a lace front. She has what's known as a traditional cap or a standard cap, if you'd like. But what that does is it helps to keep the price point down. And the other thing that you want to remember is you're not going to be dealing with anything up here. You're not going to have to worry about the hairline showing because those wispy bangs are really going to take care of all of that. Now, measure carefully because sometimes Noriko... Um, well, not sometimes. Noriko, at least on me, tends to run small. So um, let me show you the hair. The um, let me show you the underneath of the cap, and you could see my hair there, right? And as I said before, I have the I have the wig pulled back just for presentation for you. Otherwise, these bangs would be down here. Now you can get those bangs cut. Uh, if you can get to a hairdresser who's open and they'll take care of those for you. So I just pull that down a little bit. You can poof her up. There's that little bit of permatease on the crown again. And see how though how that piece, that one piece keeps wanting to fall forward. So you could either trim that piece or or just train her back with some she really does tend to feel like human hair. You know, on some of your synthetic wigs, they, they're they're wonderfully silky and and uh, sometimes have a little bit too much shine. This one is really Noriko really nailed it with this one because it just it just feels like your hair would feel <laughs> not too slippery, not too shiny. Um, it, they really did nail the texture, I think. Um, so just know that if, if you want something that's really silky, like baby fine, now the, now the actual hairs themselves, it's not, it's not like they feel coarse and thick. They don't feel coarse and thick, but again, it's hard to describe texture, but they do. It just feels like, just feels like human hair, honestly. So she does have the velvet covered ear tabs on the side and you could, you could pull her behind your ear. You could put a clip in her if you've got a really nice clip. This is like one of my favorite clips that I wear a lot. Uh, my favorite square bands are always close by. <laughs> when I do this, I always feel like a little schoolgirl, though, right? Look at that. But you could do that. And then I have another kind of just a little bit more dressy. I love, I love hair bands, one of my special combs. And so all I'm doing is sort of just putting it into the side of the wig. So really you could do anything with this wig that you would do with, with your normal hair.
And so remember, take good care of you, take good care of the inside of you, take good care of that crown of glory. And thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like, hit that little bell icon and subscribe. And until next time, happy holidays, everybody.